Hello, I am Josephine Apia and co-author of the paper titled Using Mobile Technology to Promote Safe Sex and Sexual Health in Adolescents, Current Practices and Future Recommendations. In collaboration with Dr. Jude Cornelius, we have offered a review from the past five years on data on safe sex and sexual health information that was delivered using mobile cell phone technology. Youth and young adults, particularly from ages 19 to 24 years of age, shoulder the burden of sexually transmitted infections. This group also accounts for nearly half of all new infections that are acquired annually. Mobile technology is one mode that has been used to reach this population with safer sex information, but still challenges exist with the delivery of mobile cell phone technology. A number of factors influenced safe sex and sexual health mobile technology interventions. Technological issues occurred in a number of interventions. Cell phone damage by the received party can affect whether all messages are received. Timing of messages can often play an integral role in safe sexual health. If individuals are unable to download videos or view URL links, then frustration can occur and lead to dropout from the program and intervention. When discussing transmission of HIV in a particular study, some participants were unclear in how to interpret correct answers when quizzed on information learned via different mobile applications. In addition, some participants felt that initial messages may blame or stigmatize the African American community and recommended that messages be geared towards the young black population. When taken into consideration if their privacy was compromised, the teams reported that this could make the situation uncomfortable. Another study considered that there may be some discomfort in knowing that a research team could see what participants were doing with their phones. Few studies reported outcomes beyond the three-month follow-up. Thus, only short-term effects of mobile cell phone interventions have been reported. Three key outcomes for the significant changes included higher condom use, increased sexual health awareness, and increased monogamy post-intervention. At the same time, a three-month follow-up in another study showed that HIV knowledge, attitudes towards condom use, and perceived HIV risk increased while HIV risk behaviors decreased at three-month follow-up. Overall, mobile cell phone interventions have been shown to be an effective mode for delivering safe sex and sexual health information to youth. While studies have demonstrated the potential of delivering sexual health information via mobile technology, we recommend incorporating more longitudinal studies to further follow up with the results of mobile cell phone interventions and looking further into examining participant attrition, plans for improving retention, and message boosting to encourage maintenance of behavior change. Thank you.